in this example we'll discuss about connection design of roof truss with gusset plate so the gusset plate which has been shown in figure over here is actually taken from in this joint okay so the section shapes is l65 65 by 6 of the members this is all these members are l65 65 by 6 angle sections and the bottom cord member which is actually a uh, 80 80 by 6 okay so as usual in order to find the connection design with bolted we need to find the bolt capacity first first bolt capacity that we normally uh, calculate is shear capacity of the bolt shear capa capacity of bolt the shear capacity of the bolt we have a equation which is v and s v equal to f by square root of 3 n n number of shear planes at threaded area a and b plus number of shear planes at shank area and shank area of the bolt so we already discussed about this equation few times in our previous examples in this example okay uh, asb and a and b need to be find out a and b and asb so what are those values let's find out here a sb equal to pi d square by 4 which is actually 16 mm pi bolt 16 mm bolt which is pi 16 square by 4 which is equal to Sixteen square times pi divided by four, which is two hundred one zero six mm square. Similarly, A and B equal to point seven eight pi d square by four. So, what what is an extra equal to point seven eight? You multiply point seven eight times two zero one the gross area, so you will get. 156.8 mm square so this is actually a a and b value so now we got a i mean the net area and asb value here one thing i would like to uh, emphasize the single angle l section has been connected to the gusset plate that means so the plate is connected like this this is the one and this is the bottom is the gusset plate so you have a bolt over here so when the bolt is connected like this so there will be only single plane of the failure will be there so the n n equal to one so now we go to the we'll substitute all these values into the equation f u equal to 400 for the grade of 4.6 bolt which is FUV equal to 400 MPV, MPA and square root of 3 number of shear planes is only 1 and A and B equal to 156.8 plus number of shear planes is 0 so all this value will become a 0 right now so let's make it as 0 Okay. Now, if you calculate these values, it comes 36,217.9 newtons. So, we can convert this into the kilonewtons. So, 1000 newton equal to 1 kilo newtons, right? So, let's take this value 36,217.9 equal to 36.218 so you can convert this into the nest dc so now we find out the nominal shear capacity of the bolt let's find out now shear design capacity which is actually 
VDSB equal to 36.218 by the lambda factor of safety which is 1.25 comes around 28.9 kilo newtons so this is actually a bolt capacity due to shear shear capacity of the bolt now what we need to find out we need to find out the bearing capacity of the bolt let's go to the bearing capacity of the bolt so the bearing capacity of the bolt the equation v, v and pd equal to sorry equal to 2.5 times kb the factor d t and f u value so kb equal to minimum of e by 3 do and p by 3 do so bolt hole diameter minus 0.25 and f u b by f u plate and 1.0 so now here the edge distance and pitch distance we assumed as a 40 mm or we can able to find out based on the minimum and maximum value as well so now minimum of these values 40 is edge distance we assumed three times the bolt diameter is 16 mm and bolt hole diameter 16 plus 2 which is actually 18 mm and P is equal to pitch distance also we assumed as a 40 times 3 times 18 minus 0.25 FUB the bolt is actually is 400 MPa and FUP plate is actually 410 MPa plate we have taken for the uh, design which is 1.0 is the last parameter so what is the minimum of these three these four now 0.74 and 0.49 and 0.975 and 1.0 so now the minimum value which is 0.49 so now we can find out we know the kp and we substitute all this data into the we the equation over here we'll get the capacity of the bearing capacity of the bolt which is 2.5 times diameter of the bolt is sorry kb equal to 0.49 and diameter of the bolt is 16 and plate thickness we assumed actually 65 by 65 by 6 mm angle section which is actually 6 mm and then fu value is 400 the bolt fu value so which comes around 47040 newtons so let's convert this into the kilonewtons which is 47040 divided by equal to 47.04 kilonewtons now design capacity which is VDPD equal to VNPD by lambda M B. B is representing the bolt, which is 47.04 by 1.25, which is equal to 37.63 kilonewtons. So, this is the second capacity. Bearing capacity of the bolt is 37.63 and shear capacity of the bolt is 28.7 28.9 so let's take the minimum of this so the minimum is 28.9 so bolt capacity equal to minimum of 1 and 2 which is 28.9 so now we need to find out the number of bolts required for truss leg members and bottom cord members 
So let's see what are those is actually. So now we know each capacity of the capacity of the bolt. Now we need to find out the number of bolts which is required for this member and this members. So this is 100 kilonewtons is subjected in the bottom chord, 100 kilonewtons. And this member is subjected to 60 kilonewtons. So we can, this is 60, 50 and 40. So let's take a maximum force of 60 kilonewtons and design number of bolts is required and apply for all these three members, all these three members. And here the bottom chord, you take 100 kilonewtons and apply the number of bolts for the bottom chord, both the members. Okay, let's go to the, now number of bolts required for required trust member equal to 60 kilonewton divided by 28.9 which is equal to 2.076 so approximate we cannot provide 2.06 so provide 3 bolts Similarly, number of bolts required for plus bottom cord, which is 100 kilonewtons divided by 28.9, which comes around 3.46. So we can provide four bolts. Okay. So now what we have done, we find out the bolt capacity and apply the number of bolts which is required for for roof press. Once we provided the bolts and the connection is ready. Now we need to find out the gusset plate capacity and the block shear capacity of the connection. With that, we can able to conclude this design. Let's go for gusset plate design.